My name is Anne Marie and I work in foster care. The agency I work for contracts with the Department for Children and Families. We provide direct services to families to help children who have been removed from their home. This is always a very difficult time for children who have been removed from their home. And it's our job to be there to support them and their families through the most difficult time. We provide services through the community and through our own agency to help them achieve permanency through reintegration. If this is no longer a viable option, then we look at our next best alternative, which would include adoption or permanent custodianship. Let me show you what my week is like. On Monday afternoon, our first task is to find an appropriate placement. This is done with the help of others. In my agency, we work closely with foster parents on a daily basis. Then I'd like you to scroll down to Monday evening. After we know where the kids are safely placed, in most cases, we start to help families understand and create a plan to address the reasons that their kids came into foster care so that the kids can return home safely as soon as possible. Many times, this starts with a family meeting, bringing together parents, extended family, and other supports to make a plan. One important part of my job is documenting the progress of the case and sharing that with the judge. On Tuesday at 11 in the morning, we're going to be looking at court reports and testifying at court hearings. I work closely with a family support worker who really knows the communities in which we live and work. Different agencies use different models, but in general, a case manager like me actually manages the case and a support person works directly with the family in accomplishing some of the goals of the case plan. All in all, it's a very complex and demanding job. But even in the thick of things, I don't work alone. My weeks include regular meetings with my supervisor and my team to staff cases to discuss the progress towards safety, permanency, and well-being. There is no shortage of training opportunities, and I personally appreciate that because it's part of my professional development. Maintaining my license is really important to me. Family foster homes or kinship homes are the most frequent placement for kids who are in foster care but some children are also placed in group homes or residential settings. I work closely with these providers and others to ensure that kids' educational and health needs are met while they are in care. I am responsible to my agency for meeting outcomes that include things like ensuring that they have regular contact with moms, dads, children, and extended family, that we limit disruptive placement moves, or ensure that children maintain contact with their siblings. One of the challenges is maintaining work-life balance, and with this position, I have flexibility that I especially appreciate. Sometimes it's better for parents to meet after work hours, so I'm able to work into the evening some nights, and then I have time available to attend my daughter's parent-teacher conference or school play during the day later in the week. I like it that my agency shares off-hour and weekend duties so that I'm only on call every six weeks or so. Each agency's plan is a little bit different, but in general, most on-call duties are shared in some way. Learning to take care of yourself is key to professionalism in child welfare. It took me a while to realize this, but now I know that dinner with friends and running are a great way to balance my personal and professional lives. As a result, I know I'll be working in child welfare for a long time. Foster care is where I know I can make a difference.